Congratulations, engineer. You have a new job. Uh, good news, you're going to be working. Bad news, you got to learn new software. So, we put some videos together for you to learn this new software, get you up and running. Uh, open a browser, any browser, and type in www.onshape.com. <clears throat> It'll take you to this page. I recommend clicking See How It Works and learn more. They got some cool stuff. Uh, up here, Learning Center is not a bad thing to click. And watch this video over here. Matter of fact, I highly recommend this video over here. I'd like you to take notes on it. Uh, and when we're good, we go back, click on shape. Maybe. Just go backwards. And sign in. Top right here. So play around here a little bit. Look around for a minute or two. Don't just jump right to it. Now, you don't have a account yet, so you have to hit sign up. And you want to scroll down, and you're in Onshape Education. Uh, I accept the cookies here. Uh, this is a nice little online feature. If you have questions, you can bounce, bounce through that. I don't need to accept. Uh, either scroll down with your mouse, or click the down arrow, or scroll down with the side panel. And off you go. So I will make one for Will Smith, whoever that is. Uh, w Smith at CarmelHS.org. Um, say that you're a student and say that you are in grade school K through 12. Click this box and off you go. Uh, you're going to create an account. Make sure you get your email right. It's going to email you so you can activate it. All right. Go through all this. I'm not going to finish it off because I already have one. All right. And let's go backwards again. And take me home, would you? There we go. Product. Oh, sign in. So now that you have your account, you go here to sign in. This is all web-based, all in the cloud. Um, you don't have to download anything. I do not remember my password. Slick. Uh, if you do not remember your password, do not ask your teacher because you're setting it up on your own. I recommend something as basic as humanly possible. Oh, good, I got lucky. Uh, and here you are. You are actually in the site. Uh, this is me creating something here. All right. I'm going to create something totally new. Uh, first thing I do up here is create a folder. All right. And this is your fool around folder. Call it e learning, engineering, whatever you feel like calling it. Uh, I did not create it, I already have a folder. Uh, it's around here somewhere. Yeah, it's still having a little trouble with the interface. Oh, it's down here. Folders, learning free IED. So I click it, and I already have a sketch that I built. But I'm going to create a new one. I'm in that folder now. So I'm going to create a document, and I'm going to put names on it. Uh, intro, video, playing, around. And I'm going to put a date on it. 3-25-20. Uh, you guys are terrible at naming conventions, and then you can never find anything, and there's a lot of whining and gnashing and wailing of the teeth. Um, this saves automatically, so you won't lose files anymore, but you should be aware of that. So Now I've got a new one, and here we are. We're in the workspace. Yay! Here's the title up here. I would call this my browser, and this is all the tools up here. Um, there's a sketch panel, and then there's a 3D panel, and there's all sorts of stuff. Hover over them if you want to see what's going on. Not as nice as Inventor in that Inventor you could hover and it pretty much tells you everything to do. But it's got other nice things. Hey, look at that. Three plans. That looks like Inventor. Hey, a view cube. That looks like Inventor. So on and so on. Uh, the planes are automatically open up. I can turn them off. There goes the top one. And turn them right back on. So I want to start a sketch and extrude. Sketch. Hey, it didn't start because I haven't told it. I want to start with front. Hey, it didn't go to the front. It doesn't do that. Inventor would have automatically go. So well, that's really hard. Click. Off we go. Let's do the classic thing we did the first time we did Inventor. I'm going to make some weird line. Uh, I'm going to have it knuckle out and come back in. Back to where I started. And I finish sketch by clicking the little green arrow up here. All right. I can have it show constraints. I can have it show when things are overdefined whatever that means. I can give it a name here and change it if I want. Done. Hey, it didn't go back to the 3D view. I'm aware, so just do that. Hey, I don't like that one. Well, then go click on a different corner on the view cube. 
extrude is right here. Notice how similar it looks. Hey, we can remove, cut, add. That's what it's going to automatically do. How deep do we want to go? Well, let's click it. Boy, these other ones in the way. I wonder if anybody remembers. Hide, hide, hide. Cool. Uh, and it went out one inch. Let's go three inches. All right, check it. We're done. Great. Now, how do I roll this around? Where's that little thing up here? We don't need it. Right click button. Uh, in my humble opinion, one of the biggest frustrations I've had teaching younger students is they don't really remember which one is their left and which one is their right. If you're holding the mouse with your right hand, your right is the one closer to your pinky. Your left is the one closer to your thumb. And boy, we have a lot of problems with this. I'll tell you what to do and you should make notes for it, but just write down. Right click will, uh, I believe it's called orbit. Not as easy to find the home button up here, but hey, click that and then you know what? I want the backside one. I want this one right here. No, no, I want this one right here. So you play around a little bit with it. Not a big deal. Um, click the middle button down. Okay, that's grab and go. Roll the middle button. Zoom in, zoom out. Click the left button. Nothing. Ah, oh, it's just a selection tool. So now it grabbed everything for me. Click out in space. It ungrabs it. Play with it. For me to sit here and spend hours telling you what to do is kind of pointless. Notice it's got all sorts of cool options out here, how you're going to look at it, shaded without edges. That's weird. I think I just want shaded. Nice. It's got all sorts of stuff. You don't have to worry about it, but you should play around, get a little bit used to this. If your mission over this first few weeks of your job, also known as your e-learning time, is just to blow off as much as you possibly can, then go ahead and do that and good luck with you. If your mission is to become a wiser person uh, in a very challenging time for everybody, this is a great opportunity. This little scenario of it being your first job is really, really, really almost identical to what happened to me when I became an engineer. They handed me something called MicroStation, which I had never seen before, and a few video tutorials, and I just kind of figured it out myself. Um, didn't get any help from anybody, and then once I'd been doing it for a week or two, I was able to reach out to other people and say, hey, I'm having trouble doing this, and they're like, do this, and then they'd come to me and say, hey, I'm having trouble with that, and after about a month, we were all experts, and we'd get new people in, and we'd tell them what to do, so. Hey, I want to cut a circle through this sucker, so sketch right there. That looks familiar, and that's the top, so it spun it around for me. Who cares? And I want to do a little bit of dimensioning here. I didn't on the other one, so you can dimension and should dimension. That's right here, dimension. So, hey, I wanted uh, hello. I wanted this to actually be one inch diameter. Notice a little circle with a slasher's diameter. And I want it to be hmm, give me a hard time. Notice I don't really know what I'm doing. Dimension from here to Dimension can have be created because these items are something interesting. Let's try that again. Spot to spot. Not giving it to me there either. Items. Interesting. Hmm. Dimension from you to you. There it is. Notice the struggle. It's not easy for me. I don't know why you'd expect it to be easy for you. And then dimension from here. I was trying to dimension points. It looks like it likes at least one of them to be a line. And let's make this one also. You can make it whatever you want. I'm totally fooling around. I wouldn't copy what I'm doing at all. Done with my sketch. Let's hit a corner button or something. Ooh, that's the one I wanted. I got lucky. Uh, let's see what happens when I extrude that. And we're extruding a cut this time. It assumes an add. I'm going to do remove. And I'm going to go down here where it says depth. I'm going to click in there, nothing. Blind. Blind is a manufacturing term, meaning you're making a blank, I believe, but I'm not honestly sure. Um, so how about through all? And look at all these choices, to face, to next, to part, vertex. I'm going to cut through all, and then I'm going to hit OK. Right click to orbit. Oh, cool. Making some funky looking stuff already here. This is obviously a back scratcher, and that is where you put the all. The stick through and yeah, whatever. I'm just making things up. So, some cool stuff there. All right. So, learn to orbit, learn to grab it. This is the center ring that rolls 
You can also click it down and it moves. This is your grab things. Grabs whatever I selected. If I go over a whole thing, it grabs more. I wonder if it grabs the whole face. Yeah, it does. That's pretty cool the way it does that. All right, so look around. Play a little bit. Revolve. Sweep. Loft. Hey, that sounds really familiar. Thicken. What the heck is thicken? Oh, hey, look at that. If I hover over it for a while, things pop up. This is what you need to learn to do. This is what many of the engineers I have trained have come back and said, yeah, I had to learn how to use SolidWorks. It took me about an hour, hour and a half before I said, oh, I'm doing this instead of that? Piece of cake. Oh, I, I had to learn to use Creo. Oh, I had to use learn to use NX. Not a problem. So this is a really good one. By the way, this is also one, if you ever want a 3D print apart, and you're at home, you can put this together, send me the file, and I can 3D print it at school. And then we can have Amazon drones or something deliver it to your house. That would be fun. So that's about it for now. Um, I will do another video later. Good luck.